Hello, and welcome to this episode of BlackBerry 10 Jam Unplugged. In this series, we'll take a whimsical journey through what can be delivered on the BlackBerry 10 SDK both today and tomorrow. Today, we are joined in studio by Julian Dolce, one of our lead developers on the Air SDK. Julian enjoys air. He breathes it. He loves blowing bubbles. He has even grown gills on his forearms for swimming underwater. Julian, how about you start by telling us a little bit about what the BlackBerry 10 SDK is for Adobe Air? Yeah, well, the uh, Air SDK allows developers, uh, ActionScript and Flash and Air developers, to build applications for the BlackBerry uh, platform. Um, and so in the Air SDK, we've got a set of controls and, and UI components that allow you to develop native looking BlackBerry 10 applications. As well, there's a lot of you know, lower level platform APIs that allow you to do things like uh, localizations and interact with sensors and, um, and, you know, and interact with, with the OS in a, in a meaningful way. That's very interesting. Now, we've been receiving some feedback from our community that we have a little bit of stale air. What are some of the things that we're doing to maybe freshen it a bit? Well, we're, we're really looking at doing a, a number of things. Uh, the, the first one and the most important is, is to update the runtime. Uh, we're really uh, working hard to uh, update the runtime in an upcoming release. Uh, and uh, that will bring um, a lot of new APIs that will, you know, be uh, on parity with uh, the other platforms that uh, Air supports. Uh, as well, we're going to be adding some uh, new APIs that interact with the platform, uh, specifically one that will be coming uh, will be inter uh, BBM uh, API. So you'll be able to uh, interact with BBM uh, with your application. Very interesting. Now, I know BlackBerry's been doing quite a bit with open source. Are there new avenues that we're exploring there as well? Uh, yeah, we're, we're really looking to enhance the uh, open source uh, libraries um, on GitHub. Uh, so we have a number of samples uh, that we're going to be putting up uh, to, to help with that. Uh, you know, some application programming works <laughs> Um, and some things to help application developers make it easier to integrate some of these native uh, flows and gestures and peak uh, in, in your application. So you can worry about you know building your content and not worrying about uh, doing the right thing um, for you know making sure that you uh, create a, a built for BlackBerry application. Very good. Now, other questions that we've had is what version of the Air runtime will we be upgrading to? So currently, we're working on upgrading the runtime to Air 3.5. Uh, and with this, we'll bring uh, Stage 3D APIs and capabilities. So we'll be able to do hardware accelerated uh, uh, GPU applications uh, with Inside Air. That's fantastic. Now, that is just slightly higher than 3.4, but slightly less than 3.6. Um, I would also you know, like to know your, your views on, on, you know, do you believe it's unfair that chickens cannot fly even though they have wings? Well, it, you know, I really do feel for the chickens, but the, the animal I feel for the most are the buffalo and their wings, or lack thereof. Um, you know, I think they are really getting a raw deal with everybody eating those tasty wings. Mm, very interesting. I did not expect such an erotic answer. Well, thank you, Julian. I really do appreciate you joining and, and telling us more about the Air SDK, your views on buffalo wings, chickens, and, and many other topics. And thank you, everyone, for joining us for this episode of BlackBerry 10 Jam Unplugged. We've had a wonderful time learning about Air, and we've also learned that if the duck crossed the road, maybe the chicken wouldn't have.